Hi everybody, this is Josh with Josh Wright Piano TV. Tonight I'm coming to you from my keyboard in my apartment. It's quite late at night, so we're gonna be dealing with this. Uh, I wanted to present a really great concept that I just discovered with a student a little bit ago. Um, it's not that I haven't dealt with this concept before, it's the concept of Alberti bass, but I just we came up with a little something in the lesson that really seemed to help him a lot, and I know that it can help you guys too. The problem with Alberti bass, which if you don't know what it is, it's that kind of pattern, or like this. So it's that kind of pattern, um, and I'm actually going to be dealing with this Beethoven Sonata Opus 49, number one, the second movement in. Um, it's, it starts in G major, but this middle section. That's what we're going to be going over tonight. Is uh, this how to get that left hand really good? Because my student, um, he was playing this way. This is one of his first Beethoven sonatas, and uh, he was doing great on that. And then as soon as we'd get to this uh, section, we do... And the tempo would drop significantly. So tonight I want to show each of you a way that you can actually overcome the difficulty of Alberti bass. The difficulty comes when we actually go down to the bass note. So... There. And, and the problem comes in switching, because a lot of us can do this just fine. And then we can do this just fine, and this, and this. And actually, um, it's not that big of a deal, but like switching that out can get really um, tough. So what we're going to do is a couple different exercises. What, what I want you to start doing is just take the first little group. This is, uh, I'm in the Schnabel edition here, and this is page four. Oh, I guess there's a, there's one on page uh, at the end of page one. I was just in the repeat of it. So um, here we go. Uh, just to give you a little context. Okay, that's where we're at. All I want you to do is I want you to take the D on top and the B flat in the middle. G is on the bottom. G is your bass note. Don't do that right now. Just the D on top, B flat in the middle, and just trill on that for a little while and then end on a G. Just do that. Okay, now start from the G and just trill on the top. Okay, and then you can experiment with these ones. Uh, and just do this for a while. Just throw one in every now and again. We're not doing a measured one yet. And do the opposite. End on the bottom. Start on the bottom. You get the point. Okay, now we're gonna go into a measured one. In this piece, we are in six, eight times, so we're gonna go one and two and three and one and two and three, and that's how Beethoven wrote it. So what I want you to do is I want you to double the value of each little group of three. So in other words, rather than doing one and two and three and, I want you to keep going four and five and six and, just with the trill, okay? So one and two and three and four and five and six and, one and two and three and four and five and six and, one and two and three and four. we're exploiting is the speed between the trill because most students can do that just fine this isn't the hard part it's switching between those two things where your hand can kind of get mushed up okay so you got that okay and if and if you really are uh, struggling even with that just do this a bunch of times just from the G Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, then switch completely. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And, and actually this is good for even uh, uh, people who are concert pianists. Like um, I know I'm not like a, a true genius by any means, like compared to these amazing professionals, but even even after I've played all this hard repertoire, uh, when I was sight reading for my students, you know, sometimes I notice I would stumble a little bit, 
And this is just a really good exercise just to reinforce this. And, and right now I feel 100% confident because of this little exercise. Okay, so after you've done that, Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now cut it in half and just do a bunch of the same ones. F sharp. Okay, now when you're ready, try a one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now you're ready to try it the real way. One, two. Sorry. Can see I can play that now just fine okay and, and it really does work so what we did is we just kind of trilled uh, indefinitely and then threw in a G every once in a while and then we broke it into groups of six and we just did those over and over and over and then we switched to the from G uh, minor to the D major chord and then G minor D major okay and then what we did is we put it in groups like we can do three or four according to what you need one two sorry one, two, three, four, five, one. you can do like four of those and then do three and then two and then one and then put them in real time, but then build from groups four down. Uh, sorry, this is, sounds so unclear, but I'll just demonstrate here. One, one, two, three, four Gs, one, two, three, four D majors, and then do three. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then two. One, two, sorry, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then one, 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 one. should cure it um, if you work well enough on that, uh, hard enough on that, excuse me. Uh, and also remember, take time and take breathers. I just did all this really fast. Um, take time if your fingers are getting tangled up to go really slow. It's just a little tip I wanted to share with each of you to, to improve your Alberti bass. If, you, if any of you have questions, my email is josh at joshwrightpiano.com. You can email me at the same address if you're interested in online lessons through Skype. Thanks so much for joining me today.